I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. <laughs> Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Yeah, that's the way. Obviously, you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden... My ship was swallowed by a whale! Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Did someone get married, or killed, or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden... My ship was swallowed by a whale! The creature fled. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. I think you've got a lock on it. Seems like you've got a few keys on your ring. Now talk to some other chums to round out the set. I'll do that. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, My ship was swallowed by a whale! The creature fled. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Okay. It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. Dazzling. I can see you're developing your flight feathers. Keep talking to other chums and you'll really learn to soar. I'll do that. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush, you've joined the chums. I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, 
My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a bosun's armpit. I made a fishing line with my own hair. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. I think you've got it. This could be a whole new path for you, Guybrush. You know who you should talk to? Antonio Plank. He guards the ice quarry on Bermuda. Really knows his stuff. Thanks. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a bosun's armpit. One false move, and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay. It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping line-breaker, if ever there was one. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. I made a fishing line with my own hair. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. Yes, that one's a keeper. Pack it in your grill and take it to the fish shop on Mele. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, hmm, 
my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping linebreaker, if ever there was one. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. I made a fishing line with my own hair. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. And uh, I know I said there wouldn't be no reward for success with the chums, but it's quite an achievement. So we'll be giving you this commemorative trophy. It says prize chum. Aw, oh, thanks guys. I'm touched. Mm. It says prize chum.